Today we are going to continue our iOS 12 upgrade. We missed some uh, last time we removed the report button and now we want to start using the safe areas layout so we are compatible with the new iPhone with the uh, curved displays. So let's first start. The curved displays, you mean not just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the all screen uh, displays. Yeah. Okay. Ah. I was playing the other day, so I need to check out this, yeah, uh, check out master, okay, let's push the latest changes, and yeah, we had the, the migration, I had the report button. Okay, if you run in the new iPhones, for example, the XS Max is okay. We can see that it's not using the, the safe areas. And you you can see you can see on apps that haven't been updated. Yeah, Maybe. they have this um, black bars yeah, on the top yeah. and bottom. Obviously, all big apps have, but I, I remember there are, there are some that you still see. Yeah, Google Maps took a lot of time to upgrade. I don't know why. Okay, so you can see the upper part is fine, the bottom part you can see a white. Mm. So, why did it work for the upper part? What? Uh, because I think the top part is, is uh, constrained to the top part of the layout. Let's see. To super view, okay. And um, here we have the bottom layout. Safe area, so it's already using it. Maybe if we set it up. I ah, know it's the same thing. Bottom layout guide. Go super view margins. Actually, don't know. Maybe you can select. Here, ah, okay. Ah, you, ah that's. So see, you can see it's using the bottom layout guide, and what you actually want is to use the, the super view. It's all the way down. Yeah, no, seems correct. Yeah. Let's just run. And then, so so what are the options? The options are the super view, the bottom layout guide, and the safe area. Yeah. So, I think this uh, picture is. Worth a thousand words. <laughs> ah, this is actually okay. Yeah, this is the top layout guide and the bottom layout guide. And they can be if there's a tab bar or a navigation bar. Yeah, exactly. So the layout exactly. guide. You should, should always use that. But yeah, the Apple documentation had a, a nice uh, image about that with the iPhones. Even now with the. Um, with the new iPad Pros, you should also take into account that, yeah, ah, okay. I think that is pretty clear. What is the, sa the safe area is like this rectangle where you interact with things. So but sometimes you want it to overflow. Okay, so, so what's, the, what's the difference between the safe area and the bottom layout guides? Yeah, I think they are the same. The safe area and the bottom layout is, okay, is the same thing. Uh, you will want to use this extra space, for example, in the tab bar, or if you want to have, for example, a content list, and you want to use the full screen of the to overflow the content here. But you will not want to put any controls here. So here. that area can't be touched with a button. Yeah, that's why it's safe. It's safe to put things that the user can interact in here in your app. Let's let's think about it that way. Yeah, safe area, then click on this. And then you have the layout margins. I think in here they also have, I don't know, that's the difference here. Yeah, that, that was the, there was also another documentation from the um, human interaction guidance. they they had like explaining this more in a more detail yeah i 
like how you should pos position your contact even in yeah and this is the safe area and these are the margins and this works for example for the new ipad as well it's really it's also it is more like user interaction and these kind of things okay so so a safe area is an area where you can put a control an area where you can touch um but then we want to go for our map we want to go the whole way to the super view because yeah. we want it to fill the whole screen fill the whole screen but mm -hmm. you, you wouldn't want any like buttons in that part okay even if it is like this is a really good example and then what happens if you're designing a full screen you could put like controls here but you will then put them here or in, in here. the in the map mm -hmm. but, but then what what happens if you touch the map down at the bottom ah, it, it works but it can conflict, you see? Now it conflicted yeah. with the multitask strategy. Yeah. So no buttons apparently. Yeah. In a landscape. Ah, actually we are not respect no I see. We're not respecting here, you see. Ah, okay. It's interesting. It should be like this. So this should also um So so those trains to the safe to area. The, yeah. To the super view. Well we just yeah. found a bug there, didn't we? Because what can happen, you see, like in here you have the notch, and also here it starts to be that too much on the edge. Because if you are like holding the phone in a landscape, you have your thumbs here near the margins, and you can like press the buttons. So it should be. This is more UX than. Yeah, they explain why. Okay, so so we have another thing to add there. Yeah, that's. that's and then what, what about the other screens in our map? Yeah, we don't have any other screens. For the moment because when i select a, a bike station and click it it will open the map up no? ah, okay okay and if i ask and the other two buttons so we only have one screen and the other the two moment. buttons don't work or yeah they open the maps as well ah, okay. so they redirect the user where you can park the bicycle the nearest bicycle and they use maps for the navigation and then what does Prendy do? Takes to the bike. This one takes to the nearest, nearest station with bicycles. And oh, this the one, nearest the nearest uh, station with parking slots. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So we need to constrain that. Mm, bottom space. Leaving space to super view. Yeah. yeah. We, s we should use that. The constraint let's see no it's still constraint it was super view yeah is there a way in, in constraints would it give you another option for so if you go on this drop down menu here mm -hmm. yeah how does it not give you mm, view just to the super view yeah it should just to the super view so what you have in here is also the oh we actually bottom left right top left right we should have in here the safe areas i don't know if i'm going to activate ah yeah so this is what was missing now in here we have the safe area and we can constrict to it i believe if we now we do the same thing it should appear what you're saying yeah safe area Ah, okay. I wonder why that's some thing you have to opt into. Maybe for compatibility uh, reasons? I'm not sure. Yeah, in here it will. Say fire. We need to remove the other one. Uh, traveling. Oh, it's actually okay, no? Well, why, why do we have a line trailing and. Well, I'm leaving Safari, well, I'm trailing. And then trailing first. Yeah. No, one extra. Now it should work. So in the other iPhones, it will like go to the edge of the screen. But in the newer ones. <laughs> okay. What was that? Just was that? Ah, interesting. Okay. So now we can see it's the expected behavior, but now the map the map goes as well. 
because the the super instead of constraining to the super view, it constraints to the yeah. So let's try to fix that. Yeah, now the trailing. Yeah, but we actually want this. The super view, what was before. Yep. So activating that checkbox. Mm -hmm. That's why it's a little bit tricky to do the <laughs> the changes using storyboards. And I usually prefer to do things by code. Because it's much easier to to see what changed then. And in here you have to there's a lot of pointing and clicking and uh, no, I reckon now we do make it one down here. Yeah, and select the, yeah, the second choice. Yeah, correct. And do we also want to test it on a normal photo? Or can we just assume? <laughs> yeah. So everything looks good. We have a margin here. Maybe the bottom one could be lower, but yeah. <laughs> Why is it this? Okay. Yeah, there's too much margin here. Another way to visualize it is in here. You can like preview like that. You don't need to recompile and relaunch the app. You just click things here and see them change. For example, the bottom space, 30. Yeah, it's too much. Let's put like 12 or maybe, I think the standard is eight. I don't know why it doesn't propose. Yeah, I think it's okay. And then trail bottom as well, eight. And what is nice about this preview is that what you were proposing, you can see put an iPhone and eight and see. Yeah. Maybe the eight is. <laughs> Maybe it's too close on the eight too and close. too far on the iPhone. Yeah. But what is nice that we can tweak these values and uh, and see. The trailing is actually okay. I like maybe in here. We should put the same 20. Yeah, it looks nice. Okay. Yeah, I think 20 is. What? I think that works. Does it work? Yeah, well, well it's higher than the, the other one. <laughs> no, it's not. Is not? I don't think it is. Oh, okay. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. I don't know why it thinks it's higher. <laughs> but yeah. And then the advantage that you can also change the orientation here, for example. Maybe put another uh, XS. And uh, flip it. How do you flip it? Maybe down here. Oh, okay. On the bar. Yeah. Maybe we could. Yeah, the bottom is too much. Also here. It's interesting. So, so do you think we have to change it? Have one value for the iPhone eight, and then one value for the. Yeah, the that's iPhone. that's actually a possibility vary for devices mm. but for now yeah, I, I would I say it's, it's okay simple enough it's b way better than it was before yeah doesn't cover the notch it's written a uh, uh, thumb it's ritual with the thumb okay and this is like how I usually trade if I'm using storyboards with this preview I can see sort of and then I do a last run in the simulator or in the device and see if I'm satisfied, I think. <laughs> okay. Nice. So let's see. And uh, this is another disadvantage <laughs> of using storyboards. It's no. like, okay, yes, safe areas. See, I, I don't have much experience of this because I've never 
like develop professionally in a team mm -hmm. but i can imagine yeah if me and you are both <laughs> at it at this and we're trying to merge yeah them. because despite being being it xml is not a read all it's a not like in android where yeah. you can actually yeah, 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 yeah. make a diff and so um user safe uh let's call it safe areas yeah use safe areas or say that i think it's safe area uh layout yeah it's so so in in practice how often like how do you use storyboards how do you do the layout maybe to quickly iterate in a prototype but i over the, the years i i found it to actually be s seems faster yeah, yeah but it's actually slower maybe to learn is good because you have like all the properties here and by code can be a little bit difficult to know by memory what kind of controls you have so for a beginner is actually good to have yeah yeah and, and it's nice because you can see it yeah you can see it you can uh, like ah segment and controller and you can put it you can see the kind of properties like what you need to do or reading having the documentation and reading yeah. all the properties that uh, a segment of controller has or trying to, to write it down so I don't know, maybe for learning can be a good tool yeah it's, it's a pattern i see a lot like that people obviously everyone i think starts with it and yeah. just a lot of people seem to move out of it but for professional use and in a team i would not recommend it yeah okay so update assets maybe i was seeing we didn't remove actually the, the dead we, code we just from hid it. hidden it and then we put it as technical debt to remove it so you're saying delete it uh, okay no it's, it's the same thing let's at least put it here or do do we have it no so let's uh maybe i will create another tab so that we have so remove uh, unused code relative to report button okay perfect so we have some warnings regarding the assets and the app icon and so so why why do we have these warnings this yeah i i, I reckon is the um, the new devices they need a different, a different icon size. Icon size. And here, okay, the app store now needs a 1024 by 1024 yeah. for the, the app store. The thing is that I don't know if we have the original. <laughs> this could be interesting. Actually. That could be interesting. If it was here, I usually have an assets folder with the original so do, do you just put it in the xcode folder do you add stuff to that folder yeah yeah i create a new folder here for example assets ah, okay, okay, okay. with the maybe if this is sketch or the thing is that if they are too <laughs> too heavy you can like break your git repository so i don't know there's always this yeah, balance yeah, yeah. okay let me just close this uh, what we can do is get it from the item store, the 1000 yeah. by 1000. So, open link, <laughs> inspect element, and we can try to get it from here, the, the artwork, somewhere over here. There is this. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if this works. No. I think I need to put the uh, <coughs> reference. I'm not understanding what. Where is the source for this one? No. The image. Yeah, this w needs to be easier. T no, it's not this one. It's not this one. Oh, okay, this one. So, 
I think if you put 1024 what is it? I'm impressed <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is a hacky way to, to do it and then we can just add it here and I can put the Donald's folder. Okay. Will that change the name of it in the assets folder? No, no. It just created a reference. So in here you have all the items. And so it and this content JSON, it actually manipulates this JSON. Just it says it this icon yeah. in this place is now called. Yeah. Okay. File name and iOS marketing in the size in this case. Nice. And this is just a visualizer of that JSON that edits it. Okay. Uh, add um, uh, iTunes art work. Okay. Can I suppose this or no? And then what others do we have? Okay, in here we also need the same thing for the watch OS. Okay, this is actually not that important. We can uh, maybe copy the. And what, what's the tick? Oh, okay. When you're going back. Uh, this git, so, so it's git reverse and shows all the history. And that's of, just your of the comics. Yeah, and then you can also see what what changed and navigate in a, in a easier way. I agree. This is somewhat like outside of the screencast that we were speaking about, that I have only ever used the Xcode in git. Th this one? Yeah. This one and... You go where I actually don't know. It's here. No, it's here. Yeah. And you go here and see yeah, the branches yeah. and the history here. And so I, 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 I've never had a problem with it, but now like speaking to Tiago, it does seem to make sense. To no, it's it. more like point and click. It's more a GUI interface. Yeah. But is you need to use the mouse, so. <laughs> You don't have a shortcuts to make it faster. And just little things like I could then use the same for my other projects in Android in the back end, just using the same Git. Yeah, yeah, so that, that, that's the advantage. You have the unified. Um, okay. This has a unified. Ah, it's missing something as well. Yeah. For the watchOS home screen, mm. so we need to generate. I actually don't know the screen. What are the sizes? Ah, wait, that one was forty-four. The one that you just looked at then. Yeah. So that's forty-four times two. So you could put that in the other two to the right. Eighty-eight. The other two, this one. So that could go there. Here? Yep. Uh, ah, should be 88. Ah. Uh, this <laughs> I actually don't know this by memory. You can copy them from uh, the developer site. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is the easiest, the easiest, no, the more difficult way to, to do it. Actually, there are some uh, apps like these ones. That yeah, use, in the past, that's the only way I've ever done it. That uh, generate all of these assets you can try to use and see if they generate it correctly. There are also scripts to do these kind of things. I watch kit. Yeah, they are also missing. Uh, yeah, they are also missing. Ah, so the the script is missing. Yeah. yeah. One way, way to do it is this. So we finished OpenWeb. We just 
this is volume 3, just size, 100. And wait, so why, why is it 100? That's the thing I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, 50 points, 2 per X. Maybe they cut out, since it's more curved, uh, the Apple Watch. I don't know, I actually don't know. Don't know. But I usually copy that. And it tells me to 200. I only do that yeah. if it is like to work, because it's really slow. But it, it just gets it done, right? Yeah, it, uh, I really hate doing this. <laughs> Not only the, the time that you waste doing the, that, but also the mental burden, like, I really get uh, depressed doing these kind of things. Um, add the missing items for watch OS. But then we've, we've got some stuff done. Yeah. 17 on the sound chart. What? This is interesting. Ah, so actually did that we well, have two items for the watch there's two ah okay maybe i you copied everything uh, that's interesting uh, so i added the watch os to the to the iOS thing. Ah. That's nice. And we already pushed it, so yeah, we jumped ahead. So what we can do so yeah, how do you fix the missing? Yeah, we can revert to this state. So I actually don't want to lose the um, the watch OS thing that we that we have done in this village. Yeah I see. We did for the app. We added. Yeah, we did a mess here. So. This is the watch kit. Correct? So let's copy that. Okay. So it's revert. Or even reverse. Rebase is getting into something that I do not know. <laughs> oh, okay, so it, it, basically, I'm like rewriting history. This is very uh, dangerous. For example, in here, if I remove uh, this line, this comet will disappear. Mm. No? So, what I will do is copy this assets folder, open it here. What what happened? I know. Yeah, I didn't do that. Nothing to do. So wait. Uh, drop. So it removes that comet. What will happen is that now master and origin are disaligned. Yeah. And in here, I sh I shouldn't have pushed that. I, w I went ahead of myself. We can like force what is in origin to match master, like that, and we do a force update. This is really dangerous, because if someone had in the hel in the other team had done that, it will rewrite their history as well, and you can lose work. Since in here we know that we are the only ones, we can sort of do it, but it's really dangerous. So. In here, uh, sharing finder. Is that one? Yeah. Okay. And in here we can replace that. Okay. Rebuild. Yeah, this was a little bit. Uh, we jump ahead, but yeah, we were able to fix all the warnings. Just that last one. Yes. The assets for the watch app. 
and gases, so that's okay. Yeah, we need to solve that as well. We should do that in the next Pomodoro. Yeah, 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 for sure. So now we can add the missing add still. That shows up. Yeah, so we are deliberate when we push to avoid this kind of yeah. rewriting. Because as long as it's in local, we know how to manage it. We can't mess up someone else. Yeah. 